Hey guys, so this one goes out to any of you that may have trouble with chronically clenching or grinding your teeth. Maybe you've tried some things in order to get that to let go, such as massage or mouth guards, but the problem either isn't going away or it just keeps coming on back. What I'm gonna offer you is a way in which to start working yourself out of the cycle of chronically clenching or grinding your teeth by getting some other things to work harder for you so your jaw can let go. So why do we clench or grind our teeth? Well, when we press our teeth together and have them touching, that allows us to sense our bodies underneath our head. When our molars on the left touch, that's our ability to sense our body shifted to the left over our left leg. You can sense the force through that side of your body driving up and you driving down and your ability to get your right molars to touch, that's your ability to sense weight going through the right side of your body, impact force going down and, and coming back up. So teeth touching, particularly your molars, is your ability to sense where your body is underneath your head. And when they are pressed together, self sense is upregulated. You can really feel yourself and with that, bodily tension is upregulated. So that may give you more strength to lift something heavy or that may allow you to be very still to do something very precise, but we don't wanna be stuck there. It's just like clenching a fist. You don't want it chronically on. It doesn't feel good and you like to have other options. So the general rule for your, your teeth is that they, they really shouldn't be pressed into each other if you're not chewing on something or lifting a car. It should be just sort of floating ever so slightly apart with minimal tone through your jaw. And those of you that are stuck clenching or grinding, you can't let it go. So to get it to let go, you gotta make something else turn on and we're gonna look at your tongue in order to do that. So the ideal resting position for your tongue is actually at the roof of your mouth all day, all night, unless you are talking or chewing, that tongue should be pressed on up, creating a dome, looking something like this. Now, folks that tend to clench or grind their teeth, they will press their tongue mm, into the bottom or into the top of their teeth, the front of their teeth. Now, what that tongue serves to do when you press it to the roof of your mouth is it engages deeper layers of muscles in your neck and it allows these superficial big guys to just let go. It allows your jaw to relax while you create some sense of gentle tension, gentle sort of uh, pressure management throughout your body. So what anyone that is stuck chronically clenching or grinding your teeth needs to do is take a hard look and see can they get their tongue to the roof of their mouth there may be some tightness at the base of their tongue. Sometimes there's a tongue tie, which is just tightened tissue that's sort of left over. It can oftentimes be stretched out. Other times it just needs to be toned up and there's some simple exercises that you can do to get your tongue more flexible to get up to the roof of your mouth and to get it a little bit more toned up so it hangs out there. And that is essential for getting your jaw to let go. Now often this needs to be coupled with some pretty targeted work to get your body to accept a drop from your jaw once that lets go because someone who chronically clenches or grinds, they're just holding themselves right here floating throughout their day. They are hovering in their bodies. They're not able to drop into the ground. So often they may need a lot of work to get other things south of this entire unit to wake up and be able to take this falling into their body, but every single person needs to get that tongue to the roof of the mouth when they're stunk clenching or grinding their teeth. So what I'm gonna offer is if any of you find that this, is, this rings true for you and you're curious as to what those exercises might be, shoot a DM, shoot a private message, send me your email, and I'll email you a PDF of some pretty basic exercises that you can get started working on to get your tongue more to the roof of your mouth so that your jaw can disengage and let go. That always has to be coupled with getting your 
entire head and jaw to fall into your body in whatever specific way may be necessary for you and, and your situation, your challenges. But this is something that anyone can begin to take on and I'm happy to share it with you. Just reach on out and I'll send it over your way. Hope it's helpful. Ask any questions if you got them. Regardless, I hope you're well.